Brett Okamoto backstage at Etihad Arena with Bilal, Bilal Muhammad, who just picked up a big win over Sean Brady. And uh, of course, congratulations on the win, man. With everything, uh, the atmosphere, the uh, the dedication that you had coming over here for five weeks, biggest win in your career, is it safe to say that? Yeah, I would say this is definitely the biggest win of my career. It was one of those fights, it was like, I had so much of a chip on my shoulder with this one, because I was like, it didn't make any sense for me to fight him. I, I was like, I want to fight upward. I just beat two top five guys in a row. Why am I fighting number eight? And I'm still an underdog. Like, these people still don't respect me. They still don't think that I could be a champion. And it just made me angry. And it just made me want to push myself a lot harder. So I went out there, got with the, the best team in the world, with Habib's uh, team. And uh, I just leveled up, I think. Did you feel like with that disrespect that uh, was a, would a win have been enough? Or did you need to go out there and kind of put a stamp on this one? Did you feel that? Yeah, I think I needed to put a stamp on it. I was like, I have to get this finish. I have to go out there and put it on him. Even like Habib was like, you have to put a finish on him. Like these people, when you have somebody like him tell you that the whole camp, like we got to finish him, we got to finish him, we got to finish him. It just made my mentality, we have to finish him. Like I had notes in my phone where I read it every single day saying, we have to finish him, we have to break him, we have to break him, we have to break him. And that was my mindset this whole time. This was basically a completely stand-up fight. He's known for, he's been known for some pretty good wrestling over the course of his career. Were you a little surprised that he didn't shoot on you more? Uh, he tried a couple times, but he just couldn't get any closer. I think that I did so much wrestling with the, the team over here that I was ready for anything he would have brought. So I was expecting I was waiting for it, but he just didn't get close enough. And I think that people always underestimate me when they come back to my distance, my, my footwork, and they don't realize how hard it is to get a takedown on me until you're actually in there with me. When you took this fight, and Ali's talking to Sean Shelby, where you're like, all right, fine, we'll take this fight. We don't think it makes sense, but we'll take it. But we, we want this, this, and this afterwards. Like, did you try to get some, some, hey, some assurances that, okay, give me what I deserve after this? It was like, before this fight, it was like, no, that fight don't make sense. I, I literally had coaches from all over. I talked to a lot of great coaches out here, and they all gave me their opinion. Not that fight doesn't make sense. Just sit out, just sit out, just sit out. And then I was like, I want to fight in Abu Dhabi. I want to fight in front of this crowd, one of these people. And then they kept, I was like, Ali called me, he's like, yeah, I got, I can get you in Abu Dhabi. And I was like, all right, perfect, who? It's only Sean Brady. And I was like, where's Hamza? Where's Kobe? Oh, those guys can't, this guy can't, this guy can't. It was an excuse for everybody. And I was like, when I'm healthy and I'm, uh, and I'm good, I want to be in the cage. I want to stay active because I don't want to sit out. You don't know, it's so easy to get injured in practices when you're not training and stuff like that. And I was like, I have to stay active, stay, uh, stay ready. And it's just another step. They, they, they don't think I can beat them. And I just put that in my head that they think I'm going to lose to this guy, and it just made me work that much harder. I don't know. Obviously, this was fight week for you, so I don't know how, how closely you're following the headlines. But Dana said that they're interested in making Hamza versus Colby in March. You know, on the same card as, as that title fight. Those are all the big names. You know, kind of ranked ahead of you. You know, your reaction to that when you, we saw that that's a fight that they're interested in. It put another chip on my shoulder. It just made me want to. It, it like sizzles me up, and it just puts me like they're not talking about me. They still don't have my name in their mouth. They still don't not mentioning my name, and it just pissed me off. And Sean Brady paid for that. Yeah. Um, Working with Khabib the rest of the way? Or it's, it's kind of difficult, right? I mean, this one made sense because in Abu Dhabi, you come over to Dubai. Is that something you can continue on in the future? Or is it going to be kind of a, a wait and see, case by case basis? No, we were already talking about it. We're going to Team Dagestan in March. Uh, we're going to go down there, train with them for like a month. So, uh, yeah, man, the, the love we got from them, the brotherhood we got from them, it was another level. So they just brought me in and they said, come to Dagestan, we'll, we'll bring you in. Nothing, you have to worry about nothing. So uh, just to be blessed to be able to work with those guys, any chance I get, I'm going to go. Yeah. Looks like you were having fun all week, and it looks like you had fun tonight, man. Congratulations on the win. Thank you, brother, man. Appreciate you guys. Shout out to Abu Dhabi. Love you guys. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.